We're at the parking lot of the North Hill Marsh Complex. Here in posh little Duxbury. Some slob left their Dunkin' Donuts swill on a latte post. Here's the map kiosk. Reasonably useful. This is actually a complex of properties owned by both the Duxbury Conservation Commission and Mass Audubon with numerous help from the Commonwealth, of course. All right. Let's see what we got. Yeah. Up, oh, gotta have your pooches under your control. No fires, etc. We're on some kind of yellow trail. All right. You can see the little run of sand below. Yeah, it is. Oh, it's like another old cart road. Wonder how the tick situation is. It's supposed to be bad this year. The uh, vets said they've seen an, an awful lot of ticks already this year. Yeah, well this is their perfect habitat. Oh yeah. They like to lay eggs in this easy sand. Really? Yeah. I only pulled one up for Harry so far, that's well so far. I'll be pulling out one. Yeah. We pulled one up for Harry this year. I ran into like 40 of the little bastards yeah. up in New Hampshire. One even made it all the way to Cambridge. Jesus. Yeah, but it was pretty hurt and it had gone through the wash when I washed some sheets. <laughs> so it was on its last legs. Jeez. No blood for you, Mr. Tick. Yeah. Or Miss Tick. Whoever you are. Miss Tick. <laughs> They're obnoxious members of the spider family. Are they really? They're not insects, they're arachnids. arachnids? Yes. Oh boy. Little creepy blood sucking spiders. Well, it turns out the spiders are the one. Spiders are the one insect. All of them are venomous. <laughs> to a varying extent. Yeah, to yeah. a varying extent, but all spiders have venom. Sure, it's their drill. I mean, it's what they know. <laughs> it works. It's what works, I guess. Yes. <coughs> now we might run into warblers. Really? Yeah. Before Harry died, Sunday, uh -huh. I took him out in the backyard and we were lying on the grass together. And he just turned his face to the sun and he was just enjoying it. Yeah. And the bird started singing. <laughs> and he just lifted his head and looked up at the bird <laughs> in the sky. <laughs> oh, it was heartbreaking to him. It was like he knew. You could sense it. Ah, oh, there's one of those mysterious. I think these are for Geo. Pete. Yeah, I think these are geo markers. I've seen. Huh. Yeah, they're using these in a number of places. Yeah, there's the little. We go this way, don't we? A little loop trail. We don't have to. 
This is the beauty of it. We can just putz around and go any which way. Yeah, all right. Yeah. I imagine we're going to end up going around the pond this way, too. Yeah. yeah. We'll just sort of figure the sucker out. Yeah. It's nice because so, so many of the runs we've done, we had to ca calculate the trail direction and stuff. I know. This is just sort of putzing around. And it does kind of, being on the base circuit thing, just kind of inhibit you from a lot of other places. Well, I've created new categories for all of them. Oh. <clears throat> yeah, did, did I hike? Ooh. Here's an interesting little funny flowers. Nestled in amongst some poison ivy. Okay. Where? Up there on that tree. Probably. Funny looking bird box. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, it doesn't have an entry this side. Maybe it's an odd little platform. Probably. It's an absolutely stunning May day. Reputedly the height of warbler migration. There's a little meadowish thing. Yeah. Yeah, that was a couple of years ago, I think. Yeah, here's a... It's an interesting <laughs> intersection. Yeah, I see yeah. a glimpse of blue. Yeah. Movie camera, it's my still camera. Yeah. So, you know, I can make it work for everything I need. I got like a bunch of Olympus OMs and stuff like that. The little ones like this, they're all no good anymore. They all take film. Yeah. Well, I was thinking about the ramifications. With digital, if I had backed everything up in the cloud, I would have had zero losses. Right. Uh, but of course, when you've shot stuff on film, unless it burns down, you have it forever, too. Yeah. And in fact, I have a lot of... Photographs. Photographs that I'll just have to rescan. Right. Oh, this is how Duxbury quenches its thirst. Uh, there's another little. This is a blue trail system. We're just wandering aimlessly. Well, we hope there is some method in our madness. Nah, not in this one particular. I thought it's far more bohemian to be free and yes, free and wild like the wind. <laughs> and wing it. Yeah, wing it exactly. Mm -hmm. Alex said it, that's the one thing he always liked about me, that I was very spontaneous. He could call me up and say, you want to go hiking? And I'd go, sure, I'll grab my pack and I'll meet you in a half an hour. You know? Whereas other people, 
oh, I don't know, we'll have to set up an appointment, you gotta do this, you gotta do that, you know what I mean? Oh, I know. I would be like, yeah, sure, I'm set. I used to keep a pack anyway, by the door, ready to go. I used to do a lot of mountains. I did it with him, I did like about 20-something mountains. In the White Mountain, 20-something out of the 48 peaks in New Hampshire. Mm -hmm. He was a real peak bagger. Oh, God. I wasn't. Oh. You know, I'm not a peak bagger because they know I'm not that kind of athlete. It isn't I'm about right? athletics. It's about fucking checking off Look, stuff yeah. on stupid little lists. It's about aesthetics, too. I mean, you miss it all. If you don't stop and, yeah. you know, enjoy, you miss it all. Yeah. No, I was a view seeker. And he would, like, take a, you know, half a bottle of ibuprofen so he could do, like, 13 miles and five peaks. Yeah. And I'd be like, no. This must be the marsh. There's a little robin. Kind of a you take the high road and I take the low road. <laughs> oh, cool, a little bridge. Uh -huh. These aren't very difficult or expensive to do. No, but it seems like there's more commitment. Yeah. Civic spirit. Yeah. And there is our little bridge. We're on Blue Trail now. Yeah. Oh, there goes a chipmunk. Actually, it's a red squirrel. 